we, in fact checking, we consider all sides and we listen to all sides and we seek out all the opinions on the issue. But what's different is we ultimately reach a determination on what's true and what's not. And I think that's what's key about fact checking. What happened though to fact checking in the late 90s and, um, and after 2000 is I think fact checking lost its teeth. Um, uh, by about the 2000 election, fact checking um, sort of stopped making the call and really became just another way that political reporters summarized the debate. So they were simply regurgitating the talking points from both sides. And if you read fact check articles in this time, it would be like, uh, well, the, uh, the Gore ad says X and Y and Z. Um, but the, the uh, Bush campaign says that's not true and here's why. And it wouldn't reach a conclusion. Well, to me, that's not fact checking. That's not settling it for you. Um, so why was that? Why, why did we lose our edge? I think it's because we got scared. Um, we got scared of being criticized for being biased. And so we sort of lost our guts to make the call. And so it was a lot easier just to say, well, on the one hand, on the other hand. And that's what fact-checking became. And as recently as um, the 2008 election, I think some, of, some news organizations were doing that, were basically calling things a fact-check when all it was was on the one hand, on the other hand. Um, so we got scared. And I think we were afraid of critics who said we were biased, and we sort of step back and said, oh, you know, oh, no, we're not biased. The preceding program was produced on LSU's campus by the Manship School of Mass Communication and the Riley Center for Media and Public Affairs. The Manship School serves undergraduates with programs in journalism, advertising, public relations, and political communication. For more information about the school, visit manship.lsu.edu.